All right, Jay, what's your deep dive here? Are the Saints legit, guys? I mean, we were kind of teasing about this last week because we were like, oh, they played the Carolina Panthers. They had 30 in the first half. Ah, oh, they can't be legit. We'll see what they're really like when they go to Dallas, right? The big star and everything. And they straight walked up into Dallas's home, kicked the door down, bow, had bow, a nice bow, sandwich bow, 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 on bow. their couch, kicked their shoes off, <laughs> put their feet on the coffee table, and, and just had their way with the Dallas Cowboys. But I think the thing that makes them so legit is the change they've made on the, at the offensive coordinator position, Clint Kubiak. I mean, we were talking about this, Kyle. We wondered how the Saints would play because of the O-line issues or we thought was going to be the yeah. O-line issues. Yeah. Um, so at least for Waga has been amazing, which we kind of figured he would. We knew he would develop, right? The biggest question was Trevor Penning. Yep. But the thing is, we haven't been able to see his weaknesses. They've covered it up. Because Clint Kubiak has covered him up. Like, literally, like, they were able to run the ball any which way they wanted versus the Dallas Cowboys, which, again, why I don't know the Cleveland Browns didn't try to the same attack. But I think the thing, the thing that surprised me, Kyle and Mike, was that usually you don't want to run on the perimeter versus Dallas because they're so fast. Like mm-hmm. the, the Marion Overshone, Kendrick is a very smart player, but he has some speed as well. Like teams like that, you kind of want to run right at them. No, they got on the edge on toss plays, stretch, zone, and they really honed in to Trevor Penning's athletic ability as a run blocker, right? He was able to get to the second level. Talif Fawaga was owning guys at the line of scrimmage, right? And then they would switch it up and go some of that inside zone and league play too and get physical with you, right? And then when they wanted to threaten the ball downfield, you know what they would do? Mass protect. That way Penning isn't on an island. Two-man routes. It's like Dallas knew what was coming. It was either a post or a seam route by Shahid, uh, Shahid and then Chris Olave would run a deep dig, and they couldn't stop it. They never could stop it because that linebacker, I mean, that safety was such in the bind that if he came up on the uh, Lave dig route, Shahid was over the top. And if he he, he, he muddled in between, Shahid would get behind him. So that's exactly what happened. So I think the, the Saints are legit. And the thing that we haven't even talked about, this team has always been led by his defense. Chase Young seemed like it was an amazing pickup for them. Like, I, I know a lot of people question with the knee, was he going to be healthy? He was unblockable on Sunday. So, like, again, you know, if you're playing with a lead and you can pin your ears back – it bodes well for that defensive line and how they're built to get after the quarterback. So the Sa- I, I, I can't believe I said the Saints are legit, man. Yeah. <laughs> they, they are legit. <laughs> Saints, Saints are legit. I mean, it all comes down to whether or not they can start as fast as they've started the previous Correct. two games because obviously with this offensive scheme, it's it's built around running the football, leading to Derek Carr being able to launch the ball down the field with those two speedsters. But I think if somebody can go out there and just match that intensity – Drive one, get them to stop, and then you know go down and score. You're looking at a Saints team trailing by seven. You could be looking yeah. at Derek Carr dropping back more. I want to see Clint Kubiak's game plan when they're playing from behind. Ooh. I want to see how Derek reacts, and I want to see that offensive line when when everybody in the stadium knows that you're going to pass it. Correct. How do they handle that? Yeah, I went back and actually watched a little. So Kubiak was OC for the Vikings in 2021. Yep. And the Vikings fans didn't love him that year. But I went back and watched a little, and a lot of it was the defensive struggles. And obviously, they went, I think, eight and eight that year, didn't make the playoffs. But if you go back, their metrics in terms of performance were actually better that year than either of the next two years under Kevin O'Connell from like an EPA per play standpoint, Hmm. from a points per game standpoint. And they had an offensive line there that was Christian Derrissaw as a rookie. And he was out for a few games. They had Ole Udo, or not Ole Udo, they had uh, Rashad Hill starting at left tackle, Ezra Cleveland. At left guard, yeah. Garrett Bradbury at center, Ole Udo at right guard, and Brian O'Neill right tackle. That's one quality offensive That's lineman. A unit. It's a terrible unit. <laughs> they had a scheme around that I think we didn't give him enough credit for at the time. And what he's doing now in New Orleans is kind of a, you know, the next step in his development as office coordinator. And that this isn't objectively, no one thought this was a great unit. They're playing like a great unit because of what he's doing offensively and how he's playing to their strengths and trying to hide their weaknesses as best Protecting as possible. Protecting his guys. And exactly. And, That's what you want, dude. And That's so, what you want. And, and they do have personnel that can run a zone-heavy scheme exception. Sure. Well, Tyler Swaga, that's what he did at Oregon State. That's mm-hmm. what uh, Cesar Ruiz is best at at right guard. That's what Eric McCoy is best at at center. That's what their personnel is good at. And then they have legit deep threats. And so it's complementary football and how they're doing it. Again, no one's really been able to stop the run, and that's uh, you know why they've been able to just do anything they wanted to offensively, yeah. not gotten into these obvious pass situations that are going to put their tackles on islands. But 
the way they're scheming it up right now and with the personnel they have to do that, yeah, yeah I think they're legit. Yeah. I mean, and another point to add, right? Who better to attack a defensive coach than a guy that played under him, right? Like Clint Kubiak was with Mike Zimmer. And yeah, he, he got fired so, in Minnesota. Exactly. So both, yeah. I, that this yeah. as 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 they would say, this was personal. Like he he knew how to attack Mike Zimmer's defense. And again, they had no answer. We talked about it like perimeter runs. And another thing that isn't talked about enough is Alvin Kamara wants a new deal. I, I mean, I haven't seen him run like this. He's playing like, like it. Oh yeah. my God. I haven't seen him run like this in like three years. Um and AK has always been one of the best pass catching backs out of the backfield, right? But it's the way he's running the football, right? And he's always had really good contact balance. Guys just seem to bounce off of him mm-hmm. and he continues to run. And then Derek Carr, right? Everybody's kind of been saying, like, this is it for him. Like, if he doesn't get it done this year, they're most likely going to move on and will he be a starter again? So he's playing with a ton of confidence. But to your point, I do would like, I would like to see, once they handle some adversity, how they bounce back because they have not had any adversity in the yep. first two games. Play the Eagles this upcoming weekend. Eagles run defense been suspect, so I was gonna say oh, they don't continue get, to run the football. They may like, still continue to run. See your the boy, uh, uh, Cesar, bro, Cesar was out of there. <laughs> he was out there with AK on the on the, on the screen play. QBX got them boys on the the sauce. He was running, running, so running, fast. running. <laughs> fastest running, mile per hour. Was it? Yeah, the offensive I, line I, in the NFL this yeah. season. He was running, running. He was cooking. See ya.